Hi, this is Manos Brilakis, presenting case 232 for the manual of CTO interventions. Building on the theme of wire problems from last week, this case focuses on wire entrapment. The patient was on dialysis and presented with dyspnea that was his engine equivalent in the setting of a right coronary artery CTO. The right coronary artery was heavily calcified and occluded on the middle segment. This is the dual injection. There is a CTO with clear proximal cap, short length. There are some septal collaterals filling the right coronary artery from the LAD. So we decided to start with undergrade wiring. We used an AL1 guide and a Corsair microcaster and used multiple guide wires, but we were unable to cross through the mid-RCA CTO. After multiple attempts, we decided to switch retrograde through the septal collateral. We did surfing using a SUO3 as well as a C on black guide wire, but had a difficulty getting through. We eventually uh, switched to a filter XTR guide wire and continued our surfing. The filter XTR has tapered tip, uh, soft tip, it's a polymer jacketed wire as well. And uh, once again, with the surfing, it went different locations, and then eventually it followed the pathway more towards the apex and then successfully crossed into the right PDA. This was confirmed with injection from the left. And uh, then we tried to deliver the Caravel microcatheter down into the posterior descending artery. Then eventually we were able to get it all the way to the distal cap. And as we can see, it was indeed a fairly short CTO, but there is significant tortuosity both distally as well as in the more proximal portion of the right coronary artery. We then tried to cross the CTO with different guide wires. This is a tip injection. And um, we moved the microcatheter further back. And then eventually we were able to advance a Gladius Mongo guide wire retrogradely through the occlusion. We then tried to deliver a microcatheter into the undergrade guide extension. This is a fine cross. But unfortunately, we could not cross with a fine cross through the mid RCA CTO. So this was a wire uncrossable uh, CTO undergradely. It was crossed with a wire retrograde, but the microcatheter will not go. We tried uh, different uh, techniques, but during this we lost the guide position, or the guide is outside the coronary artery. This was a long Gladius Mongo wire, and we decided to snare it, so we used an 18 to 30 millimeter and snare. I can also use a 27 to 45, and then we were able to capture the wire and uh, try to use this extra support to advance um, a retrograde balloon and a retrograde microcatheter going back. We even predilated a little bit the septal. But once again, we were unable to advance the equipment. As it happens often with snaring, we could not release the snare. So we ended up externalizing, and this is uh, the snare bringing back the Gladius Mongo guide wire. So we thought that after externalizing, we should be able to go undergrade and now treat the lesion, but unfortunately, couldn't deliver anything undergrade. Likely because of a combination of the calcification and tortuosity, no balloon would go past the proximal RCA, it would not even reach the level of the occlusion. Um, we tried uh, several techniques, uh, but eventually it failed and we decided to bail out. We tried to deliver the pull the wire back, but we had a lot of difficulty pulling it back, likely because of this severe calcium and tortuosity. Eventually, we were able to partially move it down, and again, we had still the fine cross microcaster inside, but then we decided to maybe try a different microcaster that might be less damaged, so we tried different undergrade balloons and microcasters, but could not get the retrograde wire to come further back. And after multiple attempts, the patient ended up going to surgery. We just could not remove the retrograde guide wire out from the coronary artery. And this is the wire coming back. The wire is damaged. It's also kinked at various points. So there's no surprise that the wire could not come back. 
there are several lessons from this case. The first one is that when doing intervention through tortuous and calcified vessel, there is always an increased risk of equipment entrapment, especially when equipment is externalized. When we get a wire stack, like in this case, then there are different ways to try to release it, getting microcasters all the way down, and then pulling until it snaps, but this wire would not be retrieved. And if the wire cannot be retrieved and is in the order, then emergency surgery may be needed, as in our case. However, there are a couple other things that could be done potentially in similar situations. One is to use a rotablator to cut the guide wire. So one option that emerged after talking to several people after having this case is to get a rotablator and a rotablator on the undergrade guide trying to cut the retrograde wire. That's one option. Another option might be to just uh, leave the wire there. So potentially try to cut it on the retrograde side, but if not, just um, cut the wire at the skin and let the wire be inside the vessels of the body. Obviously less optimal, but again, this has to be weighted against the risk of going for emergency surgery. Thank you.